Hey everyone in Drum Talk TV, this is Leo Cervantes. Uh, we are coming to you live at the NAM Show 2019. And I have the honor to interview right this man, it's Lee Piatelli. He has been uh, a, a fan of Drum Talk TV. He has sent us his video many times. And now we have the pleasure to, to interview him. How are you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic. In the camps every year. To kick off the new year. You know, I always say people go to Times Square, watch the ball drop. I go to NAM. So awesome. Yeah. I can't believe this is an amazing experience, not only because of all the brands, but all the cool artists that are really making uh, a difference in music. So, so I, I grew up with a very uh, musical family. You know, as a young kid, my family would record a Christmas album on Martha's Vineyard every year in a studio that um, James Taylor had some involvement in. So as a kid, I got a lot of personalized experience in the And I used to sit in the control room and watch them from the other side of the glass. And it was really, it was an amazing experience at that age. It really inspired me. And then to watch my uncle play drums with the intensity that he did, it really inspired me to want to pick up a pair of sticks. Awesome. And what was your favorite Christmas song that really hooked you up? You know what's funny? I, I, I'm a rock and roll guy. And my favorite song that really like got me going was, was um, Merry Christmas, Baby. And it was bluesy version, a real heavy hitting bluesy version and it just, every time I see them play that it, it, it blew my mind I wanted to, that was also I guess my first taste of rock and roll was okay. watching them do that Awesome, and speaking of, I know that there are many drummers that focus only on one like I'm a rock drummer, I'm a blues drummer How has you know, that the Christmas album and your family influences in you, uh, you know you in your playing in a good way to explore other types of music. I mean, if you really analyze it, you know, rock and roll stems from the stems from a little bit of classical, and, and every bit of music has a bit of influence from every every other type of genre. So, if you really think about it, when you're playing one genre, you're playing all of them. It's 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 amazing, and that learning that inspired me to want to explore jazz and. R and B and uh, it rocks rocks my roots, but I love playing jazz and I love playing, you know, heavy metal or I, I love playing Latin. You know, it's every bit of music has something special to offer. Yeah, I'm something amazing. I really love that because I really love it. I Paul, it's called Departure, it's a rock instrumental album. Brandon actually plays with Bobby Kimball of Toto, um, and he he's plays all over with him. And Brandon has been writing instrumental rock songs for over the a year, maybe longer. And we recorded out in Malico Records, a legendary soul label, an R&B label out in Mississippi, out in Jackson. And so we recorded the record in September, and it sold 700 copies already. And I'm I'm honored to have been on it, and Brandon and I have a lot of great, um, great gigs and a lot of, a, a, a lot of a lot of good uh, broth boiling this year. There's going to be a lot of good stuff unfolding with him and I. Awesome, 700! Congratulations, man! And how was that experience? You know, working, uh, you know, with a member of a, such an, an, an iconic band like Stoto. How was that experience for you? I mean, Brandon is a phenomenal player. Either he's a next he's a next level cat, man, and. It really it forces me to be on my toes, you know, when he sent me the songs to learn. And, and, and this goes for any drummer out there. If you're looking for advice on professionalism, no matter what the gig is, if you think the songs are easy, whether they're hard or medium level difficulty, you always want to approach it as if this is the gig of a lifetime. You want to learn all the songs back and forth. I had to prepare for several weeks before this because I, I went into that studio and went through them all. Not rushed through them, but I, I, I played them all as if I've been playing them for 20 years. Okay. And that's how you want to approach performing live or recording on an album. That's awesome. And do you have any gigs soon or where can we play live? I actually have a gig tomorrow night in Food Fair at the Cave. We're playing a sold out show. We're playing with an 80s tribute. We're playing with 80s alternative. They do 80s rock. It's called 80s Retro Night. 
and it's sold out already. It's up in Big Bear, California, up in the mountains. It's going to be really, really fun, and I have a lot of good stuff cooking with a Rod Stewart tribute band. We're going to be playing out in Palm Springs. It looks like sometime um, in March, and as the new year unfolds, a lot of gigs are going to be on, uh, coming up. So if you follow me on my Facebook page, look up Lee Piatelli, or go on my website, leegrooves.com. You'll be able to follow all updates on my shows and where I'm going. So, okay, website. Thank you. And as we mentioned you before, Lee has been a Drum Talk TV fan since a while ago. We have shown videos of him. When are we going to see more videos of you? I actually just uh, put out a video of, uh, six months ago. I'm a singer as well, so I can drum and sing simultaneously. I did a cover of uh, Running Down a Dream by Tom Petty. As a tribute, Tom Petty is one of my favorite musicians, and I got several of my um, musical compadres together, and we did a cover live in uh, Ultimate Studios in North Hollywood, engineered by my good friend and former instructor, Charlie Waymeyer. So I'm going to be submitting that hopefully in the next couple of weeks, and you'll all get to see that soon. Awesome. And this is quite interesting because for me as a drummer, uh, trying to sing while I play is impossible. And I assume that since you're from a musician family and that, that has this going on, was it difficult for you to sing and drum at the same time, or how was this process for you? You know, I remember when I first started to do it, I formed a, a band with uh, my best friend back in high school. And, and his voice was okay, and we had trouble finding a singer. So they asked me if I could do it, because I used to sing and drum separately. You know, I would sing me if I could just do I, I kind of just went with it and at first it was a little it became a little more uh, natural over time. And uh, did we get to hear you singing in your Christmas albums? You know that, they stopped recording in 2000 but you can hear me on a couple of the tapes like, like five years old just saying nonsense like every little kid would but to me I was just enthralled to be in that room. Awesome. Well, there you have it, folks. Lee Piatelli here at the Drum Talk TV booth at the NAMM Show 2019. Uh, we really appreciate that you can just step by. Thank you, Thank so you very much. for me. Such an honor. Thank you so much. Thank you all of us. And remember, keep sending your videos to the Drum Talk TV page. Here's a live testimony that we really love to share all the talent around the world. So we're going to wait for your videos. And also stay tuned. We're going to have more interviews here at the NAMM Show 2019. So we'll stick around. Thank you very much.